Despite not being in the WNBA playoffs, the Chicago Skies rookie sensation Angel Reese is making headline news. Now Angel Reese is actively trying to recruit players to come to the Chicago Skies after the firing of Teresa Weatherspoon. But before we get off into today's podcast, tell a friend to tell a friend. Well, Angel Reese of the Chicago Skies is making headline news. I heard a rumor. I heard a rumor. Now, you know, Chicago Skies finished the season off by not making the playoffs. And at the end of the season, um, their first year rookie head coach, Teresa Weatherspoons, was fired. And Angel Reese was heartbroken. Now, Angel Reese, in her exit interview, she did say that she'd be actively trying to help upper management to get players to come to play with the Chicago Skies. Now, Angel Reese is making headline news now, and she is talking about actively recruiting players to come to the Chicago Sky. Now, we saw what happened after the Olympic break, and Angel Reese went on her Twitter X and reached out to Gabby Williams after Gabby Williams had some stellar play in the U.S. Olympic game against, you know, France and United States, and they came up short. And Gabby Williams put on a great performance. So after that, what did Angel Reese do? Angel Reese went to her Twitter X and she tried to recruit Gabby Williams to come back and play with the Chicago Skies because, you know, at the time, Gabby Williams was a free agent. She wasn't signed on to no team. So what happened was Angel Reese went on there and said, hey, Gabby, would you like to come back and play for us? Now, Gabby turned that down and everybody thought that she turned it down and she didn't want to play with Angel Reese. But Gabby Williams went into full detail and said the reason why she didn't want to come back is because when she was there, upper management did her bad. And Angel Reese responded and said, hey, the management that we had is no longer here. We're under new management and we don't operate that way. Well, it seems that the Chicago Skies management is still operating that way because first year head coach, rookie head coach, Teresa Weatherspoon was let go at the end of the season and everybody was devastated and everybody's trying to figure out why the Chicago skies let her go. And we come to the conclusion and it might have something to do with the general manager, Jeff Pagalagi or Pagalaka or Pakalaka, how, you know, how I call him. Um, but you know, Teresa Weatherspoon was hired in October of 2023 before Jeff came on board. And a lot of people on um, these sports media shows say that, you know, that wasn't a person that Jeff wanted in position. So Teresa Weatherspoon was like a fill in. So what happened was they didn't make the playoffs because, you know, they got railroaded with injuries late in the season when they was holding the eighth spot. And Teresa goes down with the wrist injury. She had to have surgery. And then the last five games, they took it on the chin and got herself knocked out of the playoffs, but they was holding on to that eighth spot before Angel Reese, you know, went down. Carmilla Cadosa shoulder surgery that she had early in the season. Her shoulder, you know, was re-aggravated. She set out. Um, Kennedy Carter, um, she had a foot injury. Undisclosed injury, you know, from my knowledge, nobody really said what the injury was. So a lot of people said that might have been some things that was going on in the you know, back in that we don't know about. And then we had the blow up at the end of the season with um, Dana Evans and Isabel Harrison coming out airing their dirt, dirty laundry and making Teresa Weatherspoons look bad because some players, you got to keep some of that stuff in house. And I think upper management took that in consideration and they let Teresa Weatherspoon go. But we are at this point where Angel Reese is trying to do everything she can do to build a great roster to recruit people to come play with her. Now, the rumor is she has a reached out to Alicia Gray, <coughs> excuse me, of the Atlanta Dream to try to get her to come play with her. Also, she wants her to play on her unrivaled team. She wants to be teammates. Now, you know, Alicia Gray 
has been in the WNBA since 2017. She was the first round pick of the Dallas Wings. Now the Dallas Wings packaged her up and sent her off to to Atlanta in a blockbuster trade. Now Alicia Gray, she's a big guard. She's six foot, 167 pounds. And what she did with the Atlanta Dream this year, she averaged 15.6 points a game, 4.4 rebounds, and 2.7 assists. So she's a, a, a great guard to get. And Angel Reese is actively trying to recruit her. So in that notion, Angel Reese, there's an article out by Athlon Sports. And this is what that article got to say. Let's take, let's take a look at what the article says. Angel Reese has already indicated that she would do everything she can do to help the Chicago Skies prepare for the upcoming season. This includes potentially recruiting some fresh faces in the offseason via free agency. At this point, Reese has set her sights on two-time All-Star Alicia Gray of the Atlanta Dream. For the record, Gray is still under contract with the Dream through 2026, which means the only way Chicago can get their hands on the former Rookie of the Year is via a blockbuster trade this offseason. Reese and Gray were teammates during the 2024 WNBA All-Star Game as they helped Team WNBA take down Team USA 117-109. Gray appeared to have left quite an impression on the young sky forward, so much so that Reese is already longing for a reunion on the court. That's not exactly what Reese has in mind at the moment, though, at this point, the 22-year-old wants to be teammates with Gray for the upcoming Unrivaled League. Reese made her feelings known by posting a comment on Gray's latest Instagram posts. Let's be teammates for Unrivaled, question mark, question mark. Thanks, management, Reese wrote in the comment section. Both Reese and Gray have signed up for the inaugural season of the Brianna Stewart and the Fisha Collier Unrivaled League, which tips off on January 2025. The 30-player league has yet to announce the teams, but it is clear that Reese is already trying to recruit players, you know, on hers. Unrivaled has already announced 22 of its 30 participants for the inaugural season, which some of the biggest stars in the WNBA already agreeing to play in the three on three league. It should be, be only a matter of time before the teams are revealed and you can be sure that Angel Reese will be keeping a close eye on the upcoming announcement. So you heard from what Angel Reese said in that article. But Angel Reese really wants Alicia Gray on the Chicago Sky. So if the Chicago Sky's upper management is listening to this, and if Angel Reese has any input on how the um, direction of this team is going to go, because you got to keep your franchise player happy. And if she's a voice and she's just letting people know, this is you know, who I want to team up with, you got to potentially take a look in that. You can package up some players and make a blockbuster trade. Um, Alicia Gray is somebody that is consistent. You know, she's she's one of the people that, you know, I would love to see, you know, with the Chicago Sky. You know, she's a, a great defender. You know, she was a, a rookie of the year. Like I said, 15.6 points a game, 4.4 rebounds, 2.7, you know, assists. And if you could pair her up with Kennedy Carter, um, you have a great backcourt back court play. And you know what the Chicago Skies lack is backcourt play, inconsistency. That's what the Chicago Skies lack is inconsistency. So right now, Angel Angel Reese is actively recruiting. And she said that in her exit interview that she is going to be involved in, you know, players trying to get to Chicago because you got to make it an appealing place for people to play. But what's going on with upper management right now? You know, some players might not want to come to an organization that has a dysfunctional upper management and you see the way things go. And hopefully, you know, they will take Angel Reese's, um, you know, input and they can go out and seek players that Angel Reese wants to see on this roster. Um, like I said, Alicia Gray will be a good get. Um, you see what she has done with the um, Atlanta Dream all season long. She's been consistent. So hopefully, man, um, the offseason starts now. But right now, the Chicago Skies has to get a head coach in place so we can start making decisions on how this roster is going to, you know, turn out. Plus, you got to keep your focus on Kennedy Carter. Is Kennedy Carter going to sign back? Are they going to give her an offer she can't refuse if another team gives her an offer? Is the Chicago Skies going to match it? Or are they just going to let her walk? We got to keep an eye on that. But you guys, let me know what y'all think down in the comments sections on, you know, today's latest news about Angel Reese wanting to team up with Alicia Gray.
And this is going to wrap up another episode of the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. I'm your host and the man behind the mic, KSAP. We're going to catch you on the next one. Deuces. And remember, on your way out the door, do me a favor. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button. Turn your post notifications on. Tell a friend to tell a friend. So, you know, every time Simply Ball drops, an, drops another hot banger and we out of here. Deuces. Thanks for listening to the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share on all major really platforms. That's all, folks.